Okay, Algebra 1. I think you will find Chapter 1 a very good complement to Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is a little more intense. We're going to slow down just a little bit and, and work on some basics. We're going to go uh, Section 1, which is Variables and Expressions. So we want to talk about um, what a variable is. Obviously, a variable we've talked about in class in the last chapter is something that's unknown. We want to look at different ways we can write variables. We can write uh, addition problems. We can write subtraction problems. We can write multiplication problems. And we can also write division problems. And we can translate these into sentences. Anytime we see a variable, we're going to use the term a number. And so in the first one, we're going to have uh, a number plus 4. This is just a sample because it's not the only way you could write that. You could write the sum of a number and 4. Uh, you could write a number. Oh, if I could spell number. Look at that as I read. You could write... Um, um, four more than a number. A lot of different ways to write that. So we're just looking at, at, at one example at this time. The second one you could have, uh, again, in its basic form, a number minus four. The difference of four and a number would be another way to do that. Go into the next one, we look at uh, the product of four and a number. Again, you could write uh, four times a number, a number times four, the product of a number and four and then we could get down to the bottom and we're going to go use the good math word of quotient so it's the quotient of a number and four They're also going to put some, some exponents on it now, so we might see something like that, which could be written as 4 times a number squared. Again, squared is to the second power. Maybe they combine some things. So now we get a little more intense. We could go 16 times a number squared. Okay, 16 times a number squared minus 4. So we're just looking at taking the numbers and translating them into words. We'll also go the other direction where we might have words and then we're going to translate it into numbers. So how about How about five times a number z squared plus 
uh, let's see, plus 16. Okay, so how am I going to write 5 times a number z squared plus 16? Now, we know our variable. They have labeled it in this case. We're going to use z. So how do I take 5 times a number? That would be 5x, but again, they want us to use z. So we're going to do 5z. It also tells us to square that z, 5 times a number squared. And then it says plus 16. So just translating um, expressions. They are verbal and numerical. Verbal is when it's written in words, something you could say. And then numerical is when it's written, written as numbers. Okay, so this would be numerical. And this statement here is verbal. Draw a little arrow that way. Okay, just a little over six minutes. Hope you enjoyed it.